Title Description and Meta Keyword Optimization. Now the title is the single most important uh, SEO factor in terms of on-page website optimization by far. If you do nothing else, make sure you get this right. And uh, it's generally recognized that Google will only list the first uh, 64 characters of your web page title. So if your title is longer than this, it will be truncated. So that's something to bear in mind. Now remember that title is the first thing that someone's going to uh, basically read about your website when it's displayed in the search engine result uh, snippets. Um, so it should, uh, as fully as possible, describe in as few words as possible exactly what your particular web page is about. Google often display the title you specify within the title tag. However, it's important to realize that Google uses relevancy rather than simply just simply relying on the contents of the title tag. So, as I say, to repeat, sometimes Google will use the title you specify. In other cases, it will take it from other sources, as we'll see places like the Open Directory. Um, or in some cases, it will use re relevancy, in which case Google will replace the title that you specified with a title that uh, Google thinks is more relevant to that particular page. Now, if Google um, basically determines that your title tag doesn't fairly represent the contents of uh, a particular page, as I say, it will um, look at the contents of the page and create a new title that it think is, thinks is more relevant. If your title is too long or too short, it's uh, even more likely that Google will use a rele re relevancy algorithm to display a title that's uh, relevant to page content. So try and get your, uh, your titles just right and you've got more chance that Google's going to use the titles you want rather than the titles that Google decides it's going to use. Now you can watch um, a video from uh, Google from Matt Cuttis, who is uh, an engineer at Google. If I quickly just start this off. You'll notice this is, uh, if I stop this, you'll notice this is from um, the Google Webmaster Help um, channel. And uh, if you're going to investigate this for yourselves, You'll find there's massive, massive information on YouTube about um, Google Tips, how to optimize your website, and it's a really good idea to basically investigate what's there, and maybe subscribe to the channel. That way, you get um, details, updated information direct from Google. So we'll leave that there. You can uh, look at it in your own time. But as I say, um, get the information from Google, then you've got up-to-date uh, information because uh, the recommendations, of course, do change from, uh, from time to time from Google. Now, in many cases, if you're using a web creation package, then um, it's just like a word processor or a spreadsheet or any other package. Um, basically, it'll help you um, create things like titles and descriptions, uh, but it doesn't actually know what your page is about. So quite often, uh, even if your particular um, software for creating a web page um, puts a title into the, um, the top of the, um, the web page and a description at the top of the web page, Quite often you might find this uses a default title such as home page or index or or something like that. Um, other, as it says, other disastrous variations of things like new page or title goes here. Uh, in some cases there might be no title at all. So it's very important that if you're creating your own web pages, you do actually check to make sure it's got a relevant title and of course a relevant description prior to publicizing the, uh, the actual web page. Now, keyword position within a title, um, you should include your uh, keyword phrase as close as possible to the start of the title. It kind of makes sense that the important information is going to be at the beginning of the title and uh, the not quite so important towards the end. Now, you should use unique titles for each page within your website. Over and over again, we see this one where basically people have um, created a, a website, maybe it's got 30 pages in it, and every single page in the website has exactly the same title and for that matter maybe exactly the same uh, description and uh, again this is uh, found upon by Google if you go and look at the Google Webmaster Tools and uh, you ask the uh, Webmaster Tools to report on your website if you've got this sort of problem we'll report this as an error so it's quite clear that Google doesn't approve of this sort of thing and uh, from the other side of the coin if you think about it um, because the title is so important to SEO it means that Every single page on your website is a fresh opportunity for SEO. So if you have every single web page with a different title relevant to the content of each particular page, 
then it's going to be far better optimised from a search engine point of view. So uh, do bear in mind, prior to pub publicising new pages, make sure that each uh, page within your website has a unique title and, for that matter, a unique description. Now don't try and spam the title with just simply a list of keywords. Uh, Google's kind of wise to this one. Um, if you've got a load of different keywords or keyword phrases that you want to promote, what you should do is um, basically optimize each separate page for maybe a different keyword phrase or a different keyword, uh, rather than trying to cram them all into one page, especially the home page. Um, so let's take an example where you've got something like um, a plumbing service in Perth. As you can see, a pretty well ideal uh, title would be something like um, Perth Plumbing Service, then the pipe symbol as a separator, followed by qualified plumbers available 24-7. That way you, you've got the sort of things that people will search for, i.e. Perth Plumbing Service, right at the beginning. And uh, towards the end of the title, you've also got information that people are looking for. So if they're ringing up at the middle of the night, and they can see immediately that you're a qualified plumber and you're available 24-7, that's pretty well ideal. That's the sort of information they're looking for. So they're kind of likely to click on that sort of title if it's displayed within the search engine results. Now it's important to realize that um, the page title can be displayed within the search engine results and it's very important to realize this is the, in many cases, the first um, information people are going to see about your particular product or service. So in this example here we've got some different titles here. So um, in this example here it, the title is SEO Training Perth. Now we're a company based in Perth, Western Australia and we do SEO training. So that kind of encapsulates in the three words exactly what we do and also where we are. Uh, the title then goes on to talk about um, SEO courses in Joonalup, Australia. So we've got the words Australia, Joonalup, courses, uh, SEO training in Perth, all within the title. Um, so you should kind of decide what your keyword phrases are. That's uh, covered in a different uh, chapter. And as I say, when, you, when it comes to writing titles, basically you need to uh, keep the title as short as possible because you can only have about 64 characters or so which are displayed. You'll notice in this example here we've got uh, the pipe symbol then the word search and then dot 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 which basically indicates the there was actually more to the title that's been cut off. Um, it's not um, disastrous if you have more than 64 characters it just means it won't be displayed within the search engine results and as we'll see there are actually advantages in some cases to having slightly longer uh, titles than just excuse me and just 64 characters. Uh, instantly, while we're looking at these search engine results, you notice the second one here is actually a document, it's a DOC, and you notice that the document itself has been titled as SEO Perth Training Seminar in Joonalap. There's a knack to doing that, and we'll see that a little bit later, but it's important to realize just while that's on the screen that when we're talking about titles, you've got titles of your web pages themselves. But if you've got uh, downloadable documents, in this case uh, a Word document or also maybe a PDF document, there are ways of giving titles to those actual documents as well. 